Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. Today I've got a Lego Star Wars custom minifigure scale model for you. Big surprise there. Uh, in front of us we've got the very different, very updated version of the Republic Fighter Tank. This is from the designer Rogue Builds, and not only did he make a pretty fantastic looking Republic Fighter Tank in the design style from Battlefront 2, but, hold on, he also designed a version of the Imperial Fighter Tank that is the sort of beefier, later design that the Empire adopted at the end of the Clone Wars. It's got a bigger cannon, and there's actually quite a few other smaller, more cosmetic details that are changed on the model as well that aren't actually just the gray color scheme. We're gonna jump into all of those details in this video today, but first, let me just let you know if you wanted to build these creations for yourself, you can get the instructions at our web store, brickvault.toys. With an instructions purchase comes a PDF guide for the model, plus it's got a digital parts list for ordering all of your pieces online. Our builds are all physically tested for durability. The instructions are tested to make sure you can follow the building steps easily, and the parts included for each of the creations that we have in the web store are chosen with availability in mind. So if you buy instructions from us, you will be able to put our models together in real life and buying from us also directly supports not just the channel, but the designers that we work with. Rogue Builds did an absolutely fantastic job putting these fighter tanks together. And I forgot to say, well, you probably guessed it, but it does have a pretty legit interior for the inside. The cockpit itself doesn't stud in, but it doesn't need to because it's quite a large piece that slots in between uh, quite a lot of bricks, so it doesn't wobble at all. There is plenty of space to fit two different figs. You've got a pretty well put together control console, and you can also see that unique connection point for getting those angles that are just underneath the eye openings of the cockpit. Looking at the face of the tank, it's actually one of the very few land vehicles that I feel like you can really say has a face. It very much follows in the footsteps of the ATST. And considering how it was designed, my guess is that the ATST probably later took building motifs from the Republic fighter tank. Though now that I'm thinking about it, I'm curious to know which one you think would actually do better in battle. Do you think an ATST would take out a Republic fighter tank or let's say an Imperial Elite? Elite fighter tank or would it go the other way around anyways the face is actually really excellent with the different types of angles that all clip together it's not a delicate build despite the fact that there are quite a few strange sharp angular connections all sort of lining up together in the front the build of the body is very flat and wide which is quite accurate and in terms of functionality outside of the cockpit you have basically you just got some guns that can swivel up and down and there's just a little bit of posability with some of these little flappy things in the back. The handling of the model is fairly straightforward. Not every little extremity, let's say on the edges of the tank are weight bearing, like you can't pick up the whole model by just a little piece like this door flap here, for example, but you can pretty much paw the model in any casual manner and you're not going to be breaking anything off save maybe a piece by the guns or something i'm not sure now let's contrast the republic fighter tank with the imperial elite fighter tank the dimensions are the same outside of of course the larger cannon that sticks up off the top but as you look closer at the imperial design there are a ton of different cosmetic changes to the build there's a lot more greebles that go along the top rear section by the guns. In fact, this area is built up even higher here. You can see some detailing for intakes along the sides, the edges of the cockpit, have extra thick armor. There's some different detailing around the laser cannons themselves. And then once you get above the openings for the little eye holes for the cockpit, basically all of the details change. The extremely large laser cannon that swivels on the top has some great looking greebly details. And when you move all the way to the back, there is a huge contrast between the two models. The Imperial design is a bit gross and rough and uneven. In fact, intentionally uneven on certain of the greebly details. While well, you can see the Republic fighter tank has a very clever built in bit of design motif here with the circular dish and the white tiles that point to the center. In terms of uh, approachable, I think more realistic sci-fi tank design, I think these 
builds kind of make a bit more sense than let's say a walker like an atst or maybe even an atrt uh something that just kind of hovers and it's a big block just feels like it makes more sense on the battlefield though of course uh my guess is what this thing can't go over the same type of rough terrain an atst could i think that's maybe uh like the the trade-off that you get there but anyways this is definitely these two models are pretty solid for building out a larger imperial or clone wars diorama i think they've got a great bit of aggressive uh look to them and uh anyways they're really fun to put together fairly easy models to construct so anyways if you did want to build them for yourself you can get the instructions at our web store that is brickvault.toys if you enjoy our content feel free to like subscribe comment or share and we'll see you next time at brick vault